Hey guys, welcome back to Pixelmon, Pokecraft, whatever you want to call this. In the last episode, we found a Pokemon Center, got attacked by some wild Pokemon, Oshawa got knocked out. And that's really about the gist of it. Now we gotta make our way down this huge mountain. Which, I mean, obviously there's only one way to do this. We gotta... Gotta make a jump for it. Oh, please make it! Oh, we didn't make it. And now... We are back where we started. Yikes. Hmm, which way did we go last time, guys? I don't remember. Let's just go this way. I think we went that way last time, because there's the four, or the, um... Tundra biome. So we'll go this way. Actually, I can just... Crap. Fuck it. I can just, um... Waypoint. Teleport to my latest death. And boom. We're at the bottom of the mountain. Now we're going to waypoints. Delete. Yes, I know forever is a long time. Awesome. So now we're at the bottom of the mountain. Let's collect this tree, since it's in our way. I think some more wood would be nice. Ah. Chop down the tree. Alright, tree's been chopped down. Come on. Come on. Get up there. I'm gonna work to see if this, if I can play this mod with an Xbox controller. Cause it actually got me a wired Xbox controller, so I can start doing s more stuff. <sighs> oh snap! Slowpoke, slowpoke, slowpoke. Boom! No, don't do it, camera. Up. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want none. See, this looks like a place that would have a Pokemon Center. It's big, it's open, it's nice, it's fresh, it's funky, it's awesome. Don't see anything though. Now we can go this way. Which is up back this way. So I think we're gonna do... See if there's anything over here. There's a lot of mountains. Jungle, more mountains, more trees. Wow, guys, we're getting pretty unlucky with these. How's this battle going, guys? Pretty good. That's good. Sup, Machoke? Hmm. There's a number. Alright. Oh, I see. Oh, I think I see a bigger Pokemon Center. That's what that red is that I saw on my mini-map. And I thought it was, maybe it's Pokemon Center, maybe it's Lava. I think we found the big one. That's it right there. That that looks like to be a big one to me. Hi, Aaron's. Ooh, this one's fancy, too. Made out of cobblestone and moss stone. can't tell this would be a actually where's my torch let me place my only torch in here because this would be a cool little area to have now that I'm trapped down here dirt dirt jump all right So let's find the entrance. Hmm. Where's the entrance at? It's over here. Is it really? It's gonna be in here. I see it. Okay. Hello, Ekans. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, whoa, this one has a downstairs. Holy crap, I've never seen one this big. 
Those stone stairs are upside down. This is cool. I wonder if those are supposed to be in there. They probably are since they have torches on them. This is really cool, guys. I'm digging this one. Thinking... It's cool that this one's like... Oh my god, did I just... Did I just... Crap in a bucket. Anyways, this one's really cool. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Anyways, this one's different. It's powered by, or lit up by torches, as opposed to the other ones are lit up with redstone lamps, which aren't activated because there's no redstone signal. So that doesn't work out too well. Can I? No? Okay. So this is cool. This will be our new home. Let's cancel. Let's M. Three points. Um, let's re- Let's edit. Small center. Actually, you know what? No. Cancel. We'll just delete it. New waypoint. Actually, cancel. Done. Escape. Because I need to be in the center of this. Be home. Ah. This is awesome, guys. Since this will now be our official home, we will make it red because you know Poco Center. And epic. I know in the old Poco or Pixelmon, you could actually slay Pokemon. Like a sword and such. Alright. This is cool. I like it. We've also got that little downstairs area. Alright, so now that we've got a home, let's venture out into the unknown. And let's. Let's go this. Now I want to try to find like an actual forest again. I want to try to find some more apricorns. There doesn't really appear to be any though. Oh, hi Scyther. Scyther. Yeah, some of the Pokemon cries in this are kind of weird. I should have healed Oshawa before I headed out. Oh, oh we don't have any Pokeballs. Like, we're going to be needing to catch anything. So... Whatever. Alrighty. There's a swamp. There's a little house thing. That might have a crafting table and or a chest in it, which I would appreciate. Alright, looking around. Not really seeing much. Subsea kings. Um. Yeah, this doesn't seem to have a whole lot over here. Magikarp, please move. Thank you. Alright, so now we just gotta get up there. It's a good thing we have some dirt. This might not be close enough. Yeah, well. Wow, did I really just fail that? I apologize for that, guys. Wow, that was embarrassing. Crafting table and a cauldron. Which I, I guess could be useful. Don't think we'll be doing much brewing. But, you know, cauldron. I dig it. Oh, mouse pad, what are you doing? That was weird. Got a flower pot. Now let's continue on. There's a Solosis. Oh, it's a Duosian. I couldn't tell from down here. Ah, I hate being sick, guys. Hello, I can... I've yet to find any more Lucky Blocks or any of the, um... Pokeball chests. Which you'll be able to see, because... 
you'll either A, see a type of Pokeball on the ground, or B, just see sparkles on the ground. You'll just see part of the ground and it's sparkling, you're like, the hell, and you go up to it and you right click it and da 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 da, item. I haven't really gotten anything useful from him yet. I got an ice heal from one. And don't really remember what else. See, this isn't going to do much for us. We need to get out of the swamp. Excuse me, Psyduck. The wrong button there. Ooh, that's a lot of sugar cane. Alright, um, give me the sugar canes. Alright, no, we don't want to go that way. Why the lag? Why the lag? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? See, this is why I really like this um, mini map mod. That way, if you do die and lose your home, or if you just lose your home, period, like your bed's been obstructed or something. Creeper blows up, kills you, destroys your house. And <sighs> it's perfect for, you know, just getting back to where you were. I mean, I don't really consider it cheap. I mean, shit. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about, guys. Pokeball on the ground. When they're invisible, they'll have, like, they'll shine. So let's right click this. Ooh, we got an Ultra Ball. Very useful. We can now catch a Pokemon if we didn't have a fainted Oshawott. Wow. Well, we can save that for something good. Coffee. More pumpkins. I don't think we need any more. I will grab. How many do we have? Six? Yeah, we don't need any more. Whoa, Izzy, whoa, calm down. Yeah, one thing you gotta be careful with, guys, is the trainers. Because their levels aren't always true to what they are. Like, I battled a level 13 dude with, like, started out with a level 17 Scyther that I couldn't beat. And I wasn't able to see if he had anything else, because the Scyther just absolutely wrecked me. So you gotta be careful with that, guys. Um, yeah, we'll stick to this. Stick to this. Don't know if we should go through the jungle or through the sand, though. Oh, well. Uh, let's see if I can't... Just... I guess that's what I did. Time... Set. Add. Zero. Well, okay. I still haven't figured out how to use all these commands yet, guys. I apologize. I just want to make it day so it's easier for you guys to see. I should have it on bright, though, so it shouldn't be too hard to see. But, you know, it's just easier to see stuff during the day period. Alright, let's continue moving forward. Getting kind of towards the edge. All well, the sand and stuff is. Which isn't really what I wanted. That's kind of what's happened. Um, just continue this way. See if we can't maneuver our way through this jungle. So the Venomoth. I'd really like to find a shiny this playthrough. This might end, this will probably end up becoming my main world. And so I'll like finish the series and then I'll what is that? <gasps> ooh, ooh, I know what that is. That's a thunder stone piece. Oh my god, can I even get that? I'd imagine you could get stone pieces with anything. Come here, baby. Come to Papa. Yes, we got our first Thunderstone Shard. Let's grab some of this coal while we're at it. Ah, 
gaining our first experiences. I'd say that was pretty lucky finding a kind of just carved out mountain like this with the thunderstone shard sticking out. Normally I do grab all the coal, but guys, I don't want this to just be you guys watching me mine. That would be kind of boring, don't you think? We're here to play Pixelmon and find cool stuff. And explore dark caves without torches. Not so much the last part. You know what? We can just go this way. Alright, so up we go. Alright. We're making our way through this jungle. Hmm. I really wish I would have healed Oshawa before we left now that we have an Ultra Ball. But hell, maybe we should save that for something that's harder to catch. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, guys. Still fairly new to this. I mean, most of the crafting recipes I'll have to look up online. Vinipede. Uh, see, I could possibly have caught that. But I don't know. I don't think I would. Please don't kill me. Thank you. I don't think I would have used an Ultra Ball on a Vinipede. There's another Pokemon Center. This will be slightly good because we can grab stuff like the PCs. And any materials from the actual center. If I want to take some of that stone, I can. I can take some of the wool so I can make a bed. Since wool's fairly hard to get in this game because you can only get it from a reap. So let's break in here. Sup, Pokemon Center? Why? Why this again? Why are you guys always going to be blocked off at the front? Oh, this one even has wood. Oh my gosh. Why you gotta be a troll like that? I'm breaking in, whether you like it or not. Collect the torches. Unfortunately, oh, this one has a basement too. Maybe that's just a uh, common theme for the... Um... Okay. There we go. Maybe that's just a common theme for the jungle ones. I don't know. Right, let's... There we go. Got two more training machines now. Let's take some of these torches. I'll leave some of them up. Because, you know, floating torch. Okay. I see there's a lot in Minecraft. I don't know why. Good guy, Ryan, leaves a few torches for anyone that stops by. Yeah. Doesn't leave any training machines, though. Those are his. You know, he probably won't need them ever. Those are his. Those are his. Nice things are mine. I'll take that. Come on. Come here. Nice, now we've got some torches. I'll leave that one, simply because why not? Alright, take these PCs. I won't leave you guys a PC though. Not at all. But I'll show you guys what I mean. I don't know what I just broke, but okay. If you try to take a crafting or healing table, it just breaks. Which is really unfortunate. I think the only way you could probably get one and take it with you is if you had a pickaxe with silk touch. Which we obviously don't have, guys. So. Right. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before we go. Can't forget this wool. Cannot do that. We're gonna just take some wool. Beds are nice. It's always nice to have beds. <sighs> I wonder if wool would go, if it actually goes through this faster. I think it goes through it slightly faster. I mean, shears would obviously go through them the fastest, but... I think this is slightly faster than my hand. Awesome. We'll finish taking that, because that makes it look weird. Alright, we got 16 wool. That's plenty, that's enough for 5 beds. Interesting. Cool that we found another Pokemon Center. Yeah, they're not too common. They're, I wouldn't call them rare, but I'd say they're uncommon. Obviously, the bigger ones are going to be harder to find. So, your best bet 
would be to just set a waypoint to one if you find it, but I would say don't move in yet. I would look for a bigger one unless you're happy with the size of the one you found because otherwise you're just going to end up moving anyways because you want to you want to start out with all the stuff like the healing table and whatnot because it's better you don't have to worry about as much stuff to craft you don't really have to worry about grabbing as many materials when you're mining because in order to make some of the stuff like the uh... what Shima calls it the healing tables and the PCs and the training machines you need bauxite which is kinda hard to get I mean, not really, but it's easily mistaken for iron. They look fairly similar. There's little difference between the two. Ooh. Come on, get up there. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're going to end this one here. I'm going to keep recording, keep getting these. So, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everyone.